In the next section, you can set the record mode from the top pop-up menu. The cycle record mode from the bottom. And then activate auto quantize for your MIDI recording. The locators section lets you set, edit, and monitor the positions of your left and right locators. This is where you activate punch in and punch out, and turn on and off the pre roll and post roll functions. You can change the numeric value in this section in a few different ways. Type the numbers in, use the up and down arrows on your keyboard, use the mouse wheel, or left click when your cursor changes to a plus sign or a minus sign. Next, we've got Shuttle Jog and Nudge. The main transport contains two time controls. the Project Time posi Position Slider, Record, Play, Stop, Cycle, there's Play, That takes you to the next marker, end of the project, fast forward, rewind, and of course go to the previous marker. Or back to the beginning of the project. Next we've got Play Order. Work with Play Order Track. Here is where you enable or disable the metronome clicking. The tempo trap can be accessed under the project menu. That button enables and disables. This button here enables and disables the synchronization functions. This section works with markers in the markers track. Here you can see MIDI in and MIDI out activity, and in the next one, audio in and audio out activity. In the last one, we have the Master Fader, and this wraps up our segment on the transport panel.